Now at 11, a survivor of the Parkland school shooting who has become one of the most outspoken supporters of gun rights needs a new place to go to college. Harvard taking back its admission offer for Kyle Kashuv and his story already proving to be an important lesson for everyone applying to college or even a job. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale tonight with the fallout. Carrie. It is indeed a cautionary tale, and experts say this case proves once again that what we say and what we write can have serious consequences. 18-year-old Kyle Kashuv is a school safety activist, pro-gun advocate, and Twitter phenom. Since the Parkland shooting, the shooting survivor has more than 300,000 Twitter followers and has gained a following on conservative media. But now words Kashuv wrote in school a couple of years ago have sparked controversy and gotten his acceptance to Harvard rescinded. It began a couple of weeks ago when screenshots surfaced of Kashuv, then 16 years old, using the N-word and making hateful anti-Semitic remarks in text messages, Skype messages, and a shared Google document. Kashuv admitted the comments and apologized, and then Harvard asked for an explanation. In a letter to the college, Kashuv said, I take full responsibility for the idiotic and hurtful things I wrote two years ago. I became part of a group in which those words bore little weight and were used in a means for their shock value. I bore no racial animus. He said, I wrote terrible things I can never unwrite, saying, I believe I have grown and matured significantly through this experience. But Harvard was not swayed. Kashuv put Harvard's response on Twitter. The letter reads, The committee takes seriously the qualities of maturity and moral character. After careful consideration, the committee voted to rescind your admission to Harvard College. Kashuv took to Twitter Monday to criticize the decision, tweeting, Harvard deciding that someone can't grow, especially after a life-altering event like the shooting, is deeply concerning. He also tweeted, throughout its history, Harvard's faculty has included slave owners, segregationists, bigots, and anti-Semites. If Harvard is suggesting that growth is impossible and that our past defines our future, then Harvard is an inherently racist institution, but I don't believe that. Barry Leibowitz is partner at International College Counselors in Fort Lauderdale. He said the Kashuv case is a reminder that students need to be mindful of what they write and share online or among friends and peers. Students of all age should realize in today's society that their digital footprint is available everywhere. Leibowitz also said schools like Harvard hold the final say on who gets in even after they've been admitted. It's certainly at their discretion to decide who they will accept and who they will deny and even after acceptance who they will say, no, thank you, we've decided to go another way. I reached out to Harvard. They told me they do not comment on individual applicants. However, they did say generally they do have the right to rescind their acceptance to anyone based on a number of factors, including behavior that brings a, a student's maturity or moral character into question. Now, I've interviewed Kyle Kashuv in the past. I reached out to him today for comment, but did not hear back from him. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.